Hey there, Internet. So it just stopped raining here in Berkeley. I feel like it's God's way of saying, take out this electric skateboard. Sort of just testing out the wheels to see how they do over these curves. It looks like it's going pretty good. Definitely feel a lot more bump with these wheels than with the boosted board. Stop it now. You see when I just pull, push down, it has a very strong stopping ability. Definitely is a lot easier to do turns on this than with the boosted board. I feel like I can go in circles. Once you're on a smooth surface, like this street is a lot smoother than the other street. Wow, the ride actually feels quite enjoyable and fun. I feel like I'm not going too fast, but let's see, this is the fastest it's going. All right, I'm pretty impressed by this thing. For only 300 bucks, it's pretty much doing what I expected it to do. The wheels are not as smooth as the boosted board, but I don't really care so much about that. This is more of like a fun electric skateboard for doing tricks on, for just quickly getting around, for having an extra for a buddy to hop on. All right, so yeah, this is my speed test on the Genesis Stinger. Super excited to be having this board and testing it out. Uh, thank you, Genesis, for shipping this thing to me right away. And yeah, we'll see how it does going over this bump that I normally take this boosted board over. See if it can do the curb test. This is gonna be the ultimate test, guys. I don't know if it'll make it. Oh yeah, we did it. So I'm briefly gonna talk about the pros and cons in this board. One of the big pros, it's extremely lightweight. Feels like it weighs like maybe five pounds, maybe 10 pounds less than the boosted board. I feel like this would not be hard to carry around town. The downsides are the remote doesn't feel as good as the boosted board remote. It's smaller, but it doesn't feel like it, it um, the remote is smaller, but I feel like it is not as receptive as the other remote for boosted board. And I feel like the wheels on this could be a little bit better. The wheels kind of go over the surface and they're a little bumpy. But otherwise, I'm, I'm extremely impressed by this board considering the price and, and that it's a first generation. Super impressive job. Good job, Genesis. And I'm excited to see what other products you guys come out with. So you guys can see the comparison lengthwise. Here's the boosted board. Here's the Genesis board. You can see the boosted board is a little bit longer. Definitely weighs a lot more and the weight is disbalanced in this part because that's where mainly the battery is. With this, the weight's a little bit more balanced because it has the battery pack right in the middle. And now let's take a look at the remote. Here's the remote for the boosted board. And then here's the super tiny baby remote for the Genesis. So you can see, even remote wise, it's a little bit smaller. And I don't know, I think they're both great boards, but I just see myself using this one a lot more now. Um, this one will get me further, it will go faster, but this one just seems way more practical. The price is right. I like how it tells me my power on there instead of on this. And I don't know, it just seems like light and easy to carry around. I would say Genesis has won, won the test over Boosted Board, in my opinion. Um, but once again, if you look at these wheels, these wheels are way better and the fact that they can brake too and slowly decelerate. This, this is how you would slowly decelerate. On here, when you try and slowly decelerate, it just brakes immediately. It's like going from, you know, 15 miles an hour to zero. So, so before my meeting at YouTube, I have a quick stop at Autodesk. A friend of mine did a 3D printing of the Insta360 Air so you can do something with it. So I gotta go pick that up. I'm right here by Cupid's Landing. I'm gonna take the booster board out, or the Genesis board. I keep on to say booster board.
okay if I leave my skateboard here? I just put it there. Just like lean up here. Oh, thank you. I feel like this is the scene in the Terminator where they have like the arm encased in glass. Lego dinosaur. There's the Bay Bridge. I just drove over this earlier. Hey, buddy. Hi. What you working on? Uh, it's getting eight eight robots working all at once. Oh my God. Yeah. All of these guys you're running right now. Yeah. All of those 3D printers. Another one. A CNC machine. Typically, I have the laser running also. So badass. This is the stuff that you've done just this morning? Yeah, these are the first parts to be emailed to space ever. So to solve a problem on the space station or on Mars is only a difference of seven minutes. Oh my god. So this is my new toy. Yeah, I think I showed sweet. you this last time, Insta360. Yeah. So you can easily change the exposure and play with it. That's the 3D printed These are the micro drones. You made these all 3D printed. Yeah, so these are, this is the 3D printed frame. That's insane. That's got the Free Flight Research Lab logo on it. Ooh. And then these, this is the form factor. So it's a, a tiny camera in there. The camera works camera. great. You basically fly the whole drone via the camera. Oh and unlike, unlike the Mavic or anything like that, it's not a flying camera. Mm -hmm. You are a flying person that is this big. That's, That's insane. what it is. Is that you're basically on a tiny little mm -hmm. helicopter and you're driving. Uh, I'm gonna print a toothpaste squeezer, a rhino head. Let's nice. see how this works. So you've already put all these things in here. So and that just tells us our percentage of time. They come, they come with some stock items. Um, this will only take one minute. No, that, <laughs> one that's, hour. That says an hour. Testing at the Genesis board right now. Straight. Here we go for it. So if I'm looking so this way, way. Oh, with the Golden Gate Bridge behind it. Exactly. Just cool. like, we like talking like... Alright, so I'm so. doing this uh, little talk thing right here. So Brent can take a little Insta photo. He's going to take an Insta picture of me using the Insta360. We'll see how that came out. <laughs> 